Hi, Tracy Nappy here with Genesis Blogging. And in this video, I am going to show you how you can use the new custom menus feature that came out in the WordPress 3.0. I know it's been out for a little bit, um, but I wanted to go ahead and do a video on it because I've come across quite a few people who still don't know how to use the custom menus or are not using it possibly because they don't understand how to use it or how easy and wonderful it is. Um, you'll notice here that I have um, this is like a standard non-using the custom menus. This is just displaying pages and things in this menu structure um, that as they are automatically and dynamically created, it would just add a new page to the menu. But I want to be selective. I want to maybe mix up blog posts inside in between uh, WordPress pages. So I'm going to show you how you can do that with the custom menus. You want to come over here to Appearance and you want to click Menus. And over here, first we need to create a menu. Now I'm using the regular 2010 theme. Um, in this video, I'm not going to show you how to customize your theme to make it custom menu friendly. Um, I'm just going to show you how to use this menus with a theme that is already prepared and ready to go with the custom menus. So what the first thing you need to do is you need to create a menu. So I'm going to type a name. I'm going to call it Upper navigation. You can name it whatever you want. That's for your purpose. It doesn't really show up anywhere. Then I'm going to click create the menu. So now I have an upper navigation menu and you'll notice that over here it's saying okay for your primary navigation what custom menu would you like to use? And so I'm going to click the upper navigation menu and I'm going to click save. So that is going to be in this particular theme this is going to be the only place that is already set up to use a custom menu. So it's referring to this area right here. And so what I'm going to do is over here you can add, um, I think I want to add blog categories. I want to add the support category. I want that to display. I want my about page to display. Um, since this is a testing blog, I don't have a whole lot of pages on it. I'm going to go ahead and add that one too. Um, and let me just add the um, the uncategorized blog category. So here you've got posts and pages and then I can even add a custom link. A custom link is a link that you create to a site of whatever you're choosing. Say you want to link to uh, another one of your blogs, another site, um, you know, a, a specific, maybe you've got a store set up on, you know, another platform or whatever, whatever it is. But in this case, I'm actually going to um, create a home link, if I can type, I can type, and I'm going to label it home. The label is what shows up on the navigation, so you can call it whatever you want, no matter where it's linking. And so I'm going to come over here. Now, right now, I've got all these things over here, and until I save it, it's not going to show up. It's not going to display anything. But notice how when you mouse over this, it has this little four star thing. You would drag that up like that. I want my home right here like this. But underneath um, the support blog category, I want to actually have my uncategorized as a sub drop down category underneath that. I want it to be a drop down menu. All I have to do is bring this over here, bump it over, and notice how it's indented. That automatically will make it a drop-down menu under support. It's that easy. If I wanted my home or the about page to be underneath the home page and I wanted it to be a drop-down menu, I just do that and it makes it a drop-down menu. Now let me save that and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, it's saved. Come over here and hit refresh. There you go. See how you mouse over it? It's like this. You mouse over the abouts right there. It's very easy. If you want to change that, say you want um, all of this to be underneath here, like this. Say I want to have this even as a sub menu under the about. I'll do that. Click save. Come over here and hit refresh. And you'll notice that I now have about, and then underneath that, or as, as aside from that, is a video test. So that's really it. That's how easy it is to create these custom menus. Um, but say you want to create a custom menu for the sidebar 
and you don't have to do any special coding to do this. You can click this little plus, create a new menu, I'm going to call it sidebar, because say I want my sidebar to show different things. So I would click create, and then I can just come over here and I can add um, new menus. I'm going to create an off-site to my other business, your web tech team. I'm going to click add to menu. Um, let's see, I'm going to add another one to another side of mine. Um, niche business now. And I'm going to click add to menu. Okay, now I'm going to save this menu, but my theme only supports one custom menu. So what you can do is you can come over to the widgets and you can add it to the widget. So see where it says custom menu? I would just drag that over to my primary widget area and then I would select which um, custom menu that I created that I want to show up in my sidebar. And I would click save. And if I come back over here and I click refresh, there is my custom menu. Now it doesn't have a title, so I can come back and make a title if I want. So it no, 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 just displays better. It's got some sort of a heading. Obviously, you don't have to do that, depending on how you want it to display. There you go. There's my custom menu. So even though the horizontal menu on this particular theme, and I found the Studio Press themes support two um, custom menu locations. Um, so that, that's a good thing, depending on the theme. But you can create, even if your theme doesn't at all support it for like your main navigation areas, like right here, maybe in the footer, um, it will support the custom menus, WordPress 3.0 and higher, will support the custom menu widgets there, and you can create custom menus and drag it over into your sidebar. And what I like about that is you can have this also be your menu, your custom menus for even your sidebar widgets can be a combination of your um, blog post categories and your pages. And if you are a WordPress theme designer or if you've had to dealt, deal with in the past in any shape or fashion, um, you wanted a custom menu structure where you had, you know, maybe a couple of pages and then, you know, your blog categories in between and maybe a couple more pages. The way the original include coding, the WordPress hooks are for displaying, it either lists the pages or it lists the categories. But this custom menu structure can allow you to actually have a category display in between pages on your site. You could even have drop downs, you know, of categories below pages and, and all of that if you would choose to do that. Um, and it makes it just very, very that quick and simple to create a, a drop down menu and to create a menu of your own structure. And the good thing about custom menus is when you create new pages in your site, it will not automatically add it to the menu system, which is good if you create pages that you want, you know, maybe like their download pages or thank you pages or, or things like that that you don't want to show up in your navigation previously because it would automatically list all the pages. You would have to go in and exclude those page IDs, literally list all the page IDs you wanted excluded from your navigation to prevent them from showing up, which was a hassle, a pain, hard to keep up with, you know, Lord help you if you change something and, you know, and you didn't get that all copied over or whatever, then you had pages displaying that you didn't want displayed. This eliminates that when you use the custom menus in order to have a, a page or a category or anything like that showing up in your navigation, you have to go add it. But it's just really quick and easy. If you would add new pages, you would just tick the box, add it to the menu, then save your menu and voila, there it is. And it's just as easy for you to remove something. Just click remove and it's done. So there you have it. That is custom menus in WordPress 3.0 and higher. And I hope that helped you.